to Hull City, George. Um, how pleased are you to put pen to paper on a three-year deal with the club? Uh, I'm absolutely uh, delighted, you know, to get it all. It's been a bit of a whirlwind uh, couple of days, but uh, yeah, I'm so glad it's uh, it's done. It's been a couple of sleepless nights and uh, yeah, can't wait to get started. Excited by the challenges that lie ahead as a Hull City player? Yeah, I think, uh, you know, I've been speaking uh, to, the, to the manager a few times and uh, being back playing in the Championship, it's obviously a great league. Week in, week out, you're playing against great teams, great stadiums, so uh, I can't wait for the challenge again of, of, of playing in this division. Was it always in your mind to make a move this summer? Uh, absolutely not, to be honest. Um, uh, as I say, it all happened in the so quickly in the, in the two days. Uh, I was in the last year of my contract at Sunderland. Um, nothing really had been in, been said about it, and uh, then Hull uh, put a bid in for me, and and it, you know it makes total career sense for me at, at this time. Uh, obviously, I've been a bit of a strange one because I've been at Sunderland my whole life, but uh, I'm looking forward to something new, something exciting, and and yeah, obviously it's a it's a it's a great club, and I, and I and I can't wait to get started. That was the next question. Having been at Sunderland since the age of. 10. How difficult was that decision to move on from your hometown club? Yeah, th I think it's always, always going to be tough, you know. Uh, you know, I was cap captain of the club, uh, it was my boyhood club, and uh, it pulls on your heartstrings a bit. But as I say, I've got to do what's best for my career. And uh, I, had, I had one year left on my contract, and and Hull are, are playing in the division higher. And uh, I'm very fortunate and, and lucky that. Uh, the, the manager and, and the club wanted me and, and you know here I am today and, and uh, I'm, I'm, I'm so excited by the whole thing. Does it just feel like the, the right time and the right opportunity to go on to that next chapter in your career? I think so yeah most most of the lads that I'm friends with in football talk about when they left their sort of club that they grew up at and uh, they all say that the career went from strength to strength after it and uh, hopefully that happens the same as me. Um, I think it'll, t it'll be strange first couple of weeks but I think uh, uh, that, that's normal and um, I'm so excited about moving, about uh, getting to know a new place because uh, you know I've never had the opportunity to. You said you've spoken to the gaffer, how influential was he in your decision to come here? Yeah very, um, obviously I played against his Doncaster teams last year and I was always impressed by how, how they played football and uh, you know they were written off uh, at the start of last year and up, end up uh, losing on a penalty shootout to get in the playoff final. Um, obviously, I know Cliff Byrne from my time at Sunderland as well, and uh, I knew how how much I enjoyed working with Cliff at my time then. That his step up into first team football, something that I always knew that might have been around the corner because me and Cliff get on very well and uh, we work together very well. So. Um, I've never actually worked with, with the manager yet, but I know if he's got Cliff on board, then uh, it's obviously a very good setup. How would you describe your game? What do you think you can bring to the team here? Um, I think I'm, I'm a load of energy. I think I'll up and down the pitch. Uh, I like to pitch in with some goals. I think I can keep scoring more. Uh, and uh, I, would, I would say that I, I'm comfortable on the ball. I, I like to re retain possession and uh, yeah, I, I'll, hopefully, uh, do the showing on the pitch rather than telling people about what I can do. Versatile as well, they can play numerous positions. Yeah, um, you know, the, the, when I spoke to the manager, he's uh, he was asking about where I preferred playing and stuff like that, but uh, as I've always said and I always will say, as long as I'm on the pitch, I, I'm not too fussed where I play, I will uh, do whatever the manager asks of me. You mentioned the way the, the gaffer's Doncaster side played last season. Confident you can fit into that system here? Yeah, definitely. Uh, they're very, very much a high pressure, high energy team, and that that suits my game down to the ground. So uh, after I spoke to the manager and uh, knew of the bid being accepted, accepted by Sunderland, it was kind of a no-brainer to come in and and fit in with how the the manager wants to play. You've packed an awful lot into your career so far: Premier League, Championship, League One. Wembley appearances, yeah. just hoping for onwards and upwards as a Hull City player? Definitely, I think uh, I've been very fortunate in my career so far with what, what I've achieved and uh, Hull is the, is the next step for me and uh, I think it's a fantastic one and, and I'm sure it's onwards and upwards with this club. No strangers to playing at the KCOM, you've had a couple of games there, looking yeah, forward to played playing a couple of games there, played in the Premier League there um, for, for Sunderland a couple of years ago and then obviously played against in the in in the championship as well, um, yeah, 
I think 1-1 one, one, drew one, so hopefully my me, me good fortune at uh, the KCOM uh, continues.